Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of High Pixel Sky Blog. We're back in the series, baby. This is episode five, and today, as you can see, I have 50 million coins in my purse. And we started the episode in the auction house. Well, it all makes sense because today we will be fixing an issue I have been facing, which is the accessory bag. As you can see, I have a magical power of 47 because I have almost, if not no talismans at all. So today we will be using this 50 million coins to get some magical power. But before that, if we go here to my storage, I have three artifacts so let's take them this you can get it by reaching level 25 and this one you get it for from nine poisonous potatoes uh, and this one the feather talisman you get it by crafting it so feather talisman where is it this one yeah it's cheap to make and we have the personal compactor right here. I was using it, so I grind the, you know, zealots to get the money. So, now let's put them in the accessory bag. So, that's a good amount of XP. Now, uh, if we go here, we can go to accessories and buy any talisman. So, for example, I can buy this one. But I think crafting it is cheaper. So yeah, it's actually almost the same price, not gonna lie. And we have the night vision charm. Next, if we go in, there's the rot claw talisman. So give me that. And we can also get the... We can get the zombie ring if we buy... 64 or a stack of revenant flesh so so let's add the red claw talisman take the zombie talisman and turn it into zombie ring next we have the fish affinity talisman so let's get that never mind let's find another one i think that was a good snipe because the next fish affinity talisman i found was double the price so where is it this one 100k I think I will wait maybe I can get another one for cheap price now let's buy the lava talisman the speed ring and the potion affinity ring now let's put all of those into the talisman bag and we are skyblock level 29 all right for the feather talisman uh, where is it this one I will be upgrading it by buying the stuff. And now we have the feather artifact. I will also buy the mineral talisman and the emerald ring. Oh, never mind. Let me find another one. So, um, the emerald ring. Let's go. All right. Now let's check if there is another one we can buy. So. We will also, never mind, I was about to buy it. Next, we will buy the Farmer Orb. And I think I will go with the Soul, Soul Flow pile. I don't know if it will work because it requires Enderman Slayer 2. So let's check if it gives me any magical power. No, it doesn't. So let's take it out so it doesn't take any space from me. Also, if we go here to combat and buy, um, wait, <laughs> I'm confused. Oh yeah, here in Slayers. So if we buy 64 of the Tarantula Web, we can upgrade my Spider Talisman to Spider Ring. So if we go to the crafting table and yeah, we now have the Spider Ring. There's also this Healing Ring. I guess I will buy it. Next, we will search for Fire Talisman. Uh, it's not here on the auction house, so I guess uh, I will find someone to craft me it. So let's buy 9 Enchanted Blaze Powder. Alright, now we have the Fire Talisman and the Healing Ring inside. Now we will search for Haste Ring and buy one. 
and the general's medallion so uh, this one yeah let's also go for the bat um, artifact so bat artifact give me this and this is our first legendary artifact in the series so let's put all of them right here let's also buy the jungle amulet and the fish affinity talisman and the new uh, nay <laughs> new year bag so this one never mind uh, this one all right so now as you can see we only have two slots left for these two talismans i have them here in my inventory because i will upgrade them so to get more slots i need to level up my redstone collection which one day i will do and max it <laughs> but for now the only thing left to do is to spend some money so if we come to here and go talk to jacobus and give him some money he will finally give us some slots so if we pay 1.2 million we will get two slots and now if we give him 5 million he will give us two slots so let's do that and we will go spend the last 20 million on more artifacts so let's go for the glacial artifact and the blue gift talisman and the bluetooth ring and let's end it off with a sharp shark tooth necklace so let's buy that and now let's fill our talisman bag and now let's turn the vasin talisman into the vasin ring so let's add it inside of here and I'm Skyblock level 31 and now we have the personal compactor 7000 we currently have 6 million coins in our purse and my um, accessory bag is full so what do we do we buy more slots baby now let's buy the Ag huh? agarimo I don't know how the heck do you spell that so let's buy this talisman also let's buy the intimidation ring so I can now throw away my intimidation talisman sadly we needed some help from the bank so let's take like 50k and go buy the lush talisman if i stop lagging for some reason so yeah let's buy the lush talisman and now as you can see we have our accessory bag full and we have jumped from 47 magical power to 301 which is a massive upgrade in my opinion now we have two legendary five rare seven uncommon and nine common talismans but i think that's wrong because we already have an, an epic one but for some reason it's not here there are also some talismans that can be unlocked via doing some challenges for example the rift talismans the campfire and the racing ones so time to unlock this redstone collection so we can get six more talismans so the first of those talismans are here in the end so if we talk to goober we will be able to do a race to unlock the talisman all right now we should be able to get the talisman all right and with that we got the pig's foot now let's talk to gustav and do his quest so we can get another free talisman and now we have the wolf paw so that's another free talisman now if we come to this guy ryan he will give us some mini quest to get the campfire talisman all right now we have the campfire talisman but we will be doing this until we unlock a better and higher rarity two hours later now our talisman is uncommon now let's try and get it to rare five hours later now if we talk to him he will upgrade our talisman to rare 
and that's our third talisman you can go for legendary but for now my setup is bad so i can't get the legendary now if we go to the jungle there will be an npc that we can talk to and to start a whole new quest so if we go talk to juliet she will start telling us about her husband not husband but boyfriend i guess so uh, the first one you should go and then come around here and drop down here and go inside this cave he will start telling you to get him some gold which you can get by coming to this cave so mine some gold until you have um the i think it's yellow rock yeah when you have the yellow rock return to him and he will give you this which you should go back to juliet and give her the item after this you will have your first talisman but uh you should continue the quest all right 20 oh so he needed only 15. all right let's take the item back to juliet now let's give her the item so we can know where is romero next now you need a stack of emeralds then you will go to the graveyard so come here and then go to this place and yeah he will ask you for emeralds now take the item to juliet and we have the talisman now in the uncommon rarity well for now this part i can't reach it because it's in the crimson Isles, which I haven't unlocked yet because I'm not combat 22. Now, when we talk to this NPC in the dungeon hub, we can start a race. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. And now we have the Sheeta Talisman and we got an achievement. I'm fast as heck, boy. Now we have five out of six talismans. And for the last talisman, I will go for the Lucky Hoof because I'm not going to do melody because i don't want to lose my brain melody sucks especially with my ping which is the best ping you could ever find on this server so we have the six talismans ready now next we should wait for the redstone collection all right it's currently the next day and it's time to collect the minions so we can unlock the next redstone collection so if we come to my minions yeah i don't have the super impactor but it's fine so let's collect the minions and level up my collection well we did not end up unlocking the collection but we are 1.8k redstone away from it so time to get mining and with that we have the redstone collection unlocked redstone 13 and now if we go to the accessory bag we will find six free slots so let's take our talismans from here and add them to the accessory bag so let's throw them right here and now i'm skyblock level 33 so now that we have finished farming and gathering the artifacts we can go and check our accessory bag we started at 47 magical power and now we have 344 which means we got 297 magical power so i guess that answers the question how much talismans and magical power you can get with 50 million coins in early game thanks for watching if you enjoyed be sure to like and subscribe because currently i'm racing my friend the beastcraft rs to 300 subscribers so if you enjoyed be sure to like and subscribe so i can win the race and as always see you in the next video